Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Alex and we've got some issues. Some issues have arisen today, which we need to sort out. So, as you guys know, I was at, I was at the KSI fucking Sidemen thing all weekend. It was an absolute blast. It was you know, insane. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen the video uh, on the main channel, which quite awesomely, um, I believe it was KSI and Miniman to tweet it out my video. Like, it tweeted it out and I was like, literally I pulled that face. Anyway... Bar that, I was at the event all weekend, and uh, my actual main, my, th these are the issues that have, that have happened, right? My main vlogging camera, this one, this is the camera, well, it's not just my main vlogging camera, this is the camera that I actually, like, do work with. So, like, you guys now make promotional videos and stuff, this is the camera I do it with, and it just so happens to be my, be my vlogging camera as well. Pretty much what happened, someone knocked it out of my hand, right? And as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but the viewfinder is all mangled up. So if I take this thing off, it's all like smashed to pieces, the viewfinder. And pretty much what happens is usually when you put the camera up to your eye, it's meant to switch to the viewfinder. But that mechanism broke, so it meant, it's, you know, it's meant to sense when you're close to the camera so it can change it to the viewfinder. Um, and that mechanism broke, but... And so did the viewfinder. So the viewfinder's broken, the mechanism that detects your face being close to the viewfinder broke. But the issue was, was the actual screen on, on the camera was set to be through the viewfinder. So it was like constantly through the viewfinder, but the viewfinder didn't work. So I couldn't go into the menus to change it back to the actual, to come onto the screen, because I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see the menus. I, like, there's no, I couldn't see it because the viewfinder had broken. So what I managed to do when I got home was plug it into my TV. Uh, via an HDMI cable and the menus came up on the TV uh, and then I could change everything and reset the camera so it works it works but obviously I can't use, I could never use the viewfinder again which is annoying but I never used it anyway so it's like it's like meh you know what I mean like it's not a major issue so yeah a lot of people said why was the video so short that's why the camera broke and that's the explanation for that Second thing, second, this one's not an issue actually. Here we go, let me show you guys. So I'm just currently downloading on the Xbox Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Now I used to be, back in the day, I used to be a Gears of War fan. Me and my dad used to sit down and we played through the Gears of War, uh, the Gears of War um, uh, campaign together on split screen. Me and, this is my dad I'm talking about. We sat down and played the Gears of War. I think that the, obviously the, the campaign thing I was about 10 at this point, this is when the Xbox 360 came out, and Gears of War was my first ever game that I ever, ever played uh, on an Xbox 360, which I got for Christmas um, ages ago. And uh, Gears of War was the first ever game I ever, you know, got into online, and I remember getting in, into a game online, and I was like, wait, wait, uh, am I actually online? Are these other people? And I was like on the mic, like a little squeaky kid, I was like, oh my god, guys, can you hear me, can you hear me? And people were like, shut the fuck up. So, um, yeah, it's going to be like really cool playing Gears of War on next gen just to see you know all the um quality upgrades blah 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 uh, also getting fifa uh, i'm trying to get my streaming game back on so i know a lot of you watched my live streaming building the pc went down really well hopefully uh, it didn't lag too much because my internet's been sorted out now so uh yes we're gonna get streaming again doing some games and stuff downloading those games but this is the issue right this is the issue i saw a few comments and they was like you guys were like alex you've made this beautiful beast just just look you've made it and you're storing it away in a stupid like cupboard thing they were like if i had that pc it would be on my desk and i'm like well number one i don't have room for it number two it, it just has to go in here there's nowhere else for it to go so what i need to do is we need to sort something out today so pretty much my the, f the first issue right is the graphics card Right, you see the graphics card just here, right? All my uh, all my monitors are HDMI or DVI, but what I've done today is I've bought some HDMI to DisplayPort adapters, so I need to get all my screens working. So as you can see on here, I've only man I've managed to plug one in on the one in with HDMI and one in on DVI. Need to get this one plugged in. So I've ordered these; they've come pretty quick. So let let's get inside of here. I'm gonna use my use my foot here to. No, I'm not. Oh, almost, almost there, there we go, there we go. It's gonna be a long ass video, but we've got cables and stuff, so let's let's get these cables 
all uh, un 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 unwrapped, unwrapped, unwrapped the cables, and also uh, what I need to do is. Uh, yeah, I need to sort out this mess of cables. I've put this like bracket thing here so the computer's risen up because obviously you know, I, want it, I don't want it on the floor. I want to be able to see it. And what I'm thinking of doing is getting this piece of wood here. I'm thinking this is the right size to go in this gap right here. It looks about the right size, doesn't it? There. And what I'm going to do is put that piece of wood on this bracket that I've made and the computer can sit there and I'm going to get rid of all these cables and stuff and hide them behind it. It's just going to be like the computer just sat there on a nice thing just there. So then hopefully you guys can't be mad at me and say that why you're putting it in, well, at least it's going to be all, all, not just on the floor, it's going to be on its own little desk in here and it's going to look sexy, I'm going to put some LEDs behind it and stuff and hopefully it looks sick. So we're going to do that today, we're already five minutes into this video, so let's do it. Bah! This is just like pretty much a perfect example of why I say don't use cable ties because whenever you want to come and change anything, You've got to fucking come in with the snippers and it's just not what you want. Use some of these things. You see these things that you put around the cables here, the twist ties? Use these things. Focus, man. Just focus, man. What you... you know what? You know what, camera? I give up, mate. I just give up. Right, so I'm a little bit sweaty, but quick word of notice for you guys. If you're ever doing anything with your setup, or anything, right? You've bought new cables, you want to put your cables in. Before you go ahead, right, and put everything in its place, put your cables in or do your changes to yourself, before you go ahead and put like, put it all back in its place, put all your cable ties around and wrap all the cables up, just plug in the necessities, right? So plug in your keyboard, plug in your power, plug in, in my case, my monitors, which is the cables that I've, that I've changed here to display port, plug them all in, right? And let's just go in here just to check to make sure that they're all working, right? Which, Yes, they are, and we expect them to. But what if you'd gone and you'd made everything look all perfect, you cable managed all your cables, you put twist ties around all your cables, and then it turns out one of your cables you've bought is dodgy. It can happen, and then it's just a massive ball like, to go and undo everything again. So just, if you're ever making any changes, just like plug everything in, make sure it all works. Like, this thing's a tip right now, but make sure it all works, and then go ahead and start managing all your cables and stuff. Right, I've, li I've literally like just got a text from a client saying he needs needs like this promotional video that I'm doing for him done by tonight. So we need to get this thing fixed up as fast as possible. But this is the bench that I've got so far. Turns out I've taken the piece of wood off uh, from up there. Low power mode, go away. <laughs> Looks like it is not the right size, but it should still look pretty cool. Let's just give it a nice wipe down. If we put the computer on there, it should look pretty cool. Let's let should we should we give it a go? There we go. Look at that. That looks really that looks really freaking cool. So this is what it looks like when you first come into the room. It's just sat on there like an absolute boss. And I think I think it looks pretty cool. We just need to sort out the wires now and stuff. Luckily MSI sent me out a load of these bad things. So what we can do is put these wrap all the cables up in these and make it look all snazzy. So I'll do that now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to untake all of these. Like I've got I've got a few packs. But I just want the red ones, because I want to go with the red red theme. So I want all the cable wraps to be red. So let's do this. Right, so all that's left to do is cable manage in here and put all the screens back where they were. And yeah, but all the screens are working through DisplayPort, which I'm really happy about. What you can hear is actually Gears of War. It's on. It's downloaded 40% of it right now so I'm gonna wait for that to finish and I'm literally gonna stay up playing Gears of War all night this thing this takes me back man Gears of War was like my first ever game that I ever played and wow the, the, like, like the noise just like takes me back but anyway check this out you, you're not gonna believe this right you ready you ready oh 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 <laughs> look we've created something absolutely epic like you can't even the cam this camera overexposes. Let me turn the camera around a sec. Right, see if, see if this back camera is any better at doing this. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. So what you can see is I actually had some LED strips uh, inside the computer. You can see one of them is kind of up there, shadowing down onto the RAM. What I've actually done is if you look at the back here behind the computer, I've actually, I've just, I've just pulled the cable out the side and just stuck it onto the back of the case. So now it creates this really cool glowing effect behind the computer. It doesn't look as like white as that. It's not like as, as like it, the camera just makes it look all wrong and horrible. But you get the point. Like this is like, you guys were like, look, come on, Alex, put the computer somewhere, like so you can actually see it. I mean, this is pretty freaking cool. In a dark room, you come in and you see it like levitating just here, all clean, all cable managed. Look, I've got red. 
uh, red things for all the cables. Uh, got the uh, good old HD60 uh, Pro there. Uh, Elgato Gaming, so I'm going to get some Xbox streaming action going on. But yeah, it looks an, like an absolute beast, and I can't believe it. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed doing this, and I've enjoyed... Look, I, I would usually just do this by myself, but I'd love to bring you guys along. And I thought, you know, why not? Why not? I need to, need to make some... need to get this vlog channel back up and going again. I need to quit doing some, some more videos and stuff. So yeah, hope everyone is doing okay. And if you're not, make sure you hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I, I, I say that, but at the moment, my Twitter DMs... Not DMs, just my like general Twitter uh, is going absolutely... Uh, mental because I'm doing this Gleam giveaway for the Swagway giving away a Swagway if you guys don't know check my main channel out if you didn't know about that uh, and literally all my mentions are I've entered the giveaway I've entered the giveaway I've entered the giveaway it's like every 30 seconds so it makes it really hard to actually see tweets but trust me guys I, I, I am looking honestly so yeah my name's likes you guys have been awesome I'll see you in my next video adios guys wow